very much. Uh, okay, with that, uh, we will end the uh, open forum side of the, uh, of the day session. Uh, perhaps I'd like to give uh, our two speakers two minutes to say uh, last words. Well, just maybe a short note on what the, the dynamics of the regime and democratization. I think it should not be seen as a black and white thing. Uh, uh, one coming, as uh, Professor Tagam had said, from below and from the top, because any democratization that is taking place certainly had a push from below to the extent that that regime uh, realized that you know, it cannot continue in the old way. It has to change its way in order to remain in power precisely. Otherwise, it might be forced, uh, it might, might through other circumstances, just uh, lose power altogether. And to that extent, we really have to credit the people of Myanmar, those who stayed inside, because there's also that kind of tension among those who stayed inside, and those who were outside the country, uh, the different groups that work outside of the country, they all contributed to the process, although they might have some, uh, they may have done so in different ways. They might have uh, dis disagreements with regards to strategies and approaches, such as the debate whether to call Myanmar, Myanmar, or some other name, uh, and, and so on. But uh, that regime was forced to reform, uh, to institute changes precisely because of uh, the, the, the unstated bravery and courage of the people of Myanmar who use all kinds of means to be able to get their voices heard. And I really admire them for that, uh, including, of course, our guest speaker today. Thank you very much. I hope in my uh, discussions I mentioned the encouraging factors happening in the country as well, not just the negative parts of it. But as I've said earlier, uh, we need to take the helm. We need to be the one that led to really bring about change. So I think it's, it's up to us and I really hope uh, to have your support in this. Uh, it's, it's, it's a hard work. Uh, just, just begin actually. So there will be another 10 years, 20 years perhaps, to really transform this conflict into lasting peace. I understand that you took also almost 20 years to come <laughs> to come to the stage. So uh, we need uh, support and commitment of the younger generations. And I'm very much encouraged uh, to be with you here today. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, I'd just like to announce that this, this forum today has been, has been uh, it's on video and you can actually view this perhaps tomorrow on the UK TWSC blog. It's uh, up there. So you can go to that site and uh, once again be, uh, uh, be able to view this uh, for our forum, especially for the classes those who are required to do uh, reaction papers for their classes and find this quite useful. Uh, just a little synthesis of this forum, but I don't think I would attempt that kind of a synthesis, except perhaps to say that I'm happy that civil society is alive and well in uh, World Bank Myanmar. Uh, I understand there is a debate on this issue among scholars. Uh, there's one group of scholars that says that uh, during the military dictatorship, civil society was dead. There were no autonomous civil society organizations. But uh, I have a student who is, uh, I'm the advisor of a student doing an MA thesis on Burma, and she had pointed out with, with evidence that even, uh, even at the height of the military dictatorship, there were autonomous civil society organizations that operated even within Myanmar, of course, of course, uh, clandestinely. But today, they are now out in the open and now uh, are actively pursuing their goals and objectives. So that's very positive uh, development. Uh, if only for that, I suppose, the present uh, regime should be given some credit. Although in other aspects, uh, it probably doesn't deserve much credit, especially in terms of human rights. My student actually calls this process a less than democratic process, because it's not really a fully democratic process yet. 
Uh, anyway, I'd like to thank the forum's organizer, the Third World Studies Center, as well as the co-sponsors, the Office of the Chancellor, the College of Social Sciences and Philosophy, the Asian Center, and the Center for International Studies for hosting this forum. Thank you very much.